On Earth, there are so many different types of living organisms. If you have ever taken a biology class, or if you're going to take a biology class, you're going to learn a very important idea, and that is how to classify life. And that's why, in this video, you're going to learn how to memorize the taxonomic classifications of life fast and easily. Of course, we're going to be using the three keys to memory, imagination, location, and concentration. With imagination, you're going to be changing the information to images, then creating a story out of those images. After you have the story, you're going to place it into a location so you know exactly where that information is, because a location acts like a folder on a computer. And lastly, concentration, you really want to focus on the story that you're creating, really picture in your head, make it seem like it's really happening. Now for the location of the story we're going to be creating, you want the location to relate to the information. So since we're talking about the classification of life, a, a place that has a lot of life is a jungle or a forest. So the location we're going to be using is a forest. Now we're going to be learning the different classifications from the most general to the most specific. So we're going from domain all the way down to species. Now the first image in our story is going to represent domain because that's the most general. Then the second image is going to represent the next level and so on until we reach species. So I hope you're ready because now we're going to get started. So for domain, the image you could use is a line because domain has the word main in it, right? So maybe you picture this line in the jungle and this line starts to dance with a tree. Okay, so that's what you go picture for domain. Main and the image is going to be a lion. The next level is kingdom. So kingdom has the word king in it. So maybe that makes you think of crowns. So maybe what you picture is you picture this lion having this crown, but since the lion is the king of the jungle, it has a lot of crowns, and this lion it starts to swim in all the crowns it has. All right, so that's what we're gonna picture for that. Now the next level is phylum. So that kind of sounds like file them. So maybe you picture a file cabinet. So maybe the lion wants to clean up all its crowns and it starts to file them away in a file cabinet. Okay, so that's what we're, we're going to picture for phylum. The next level is class. So class, the image you could use is grass, which is really easy because it rhymes with it. So maybe this file cabinet is so happy because it's filled with a whole bunch of crowns, it starts to roll in this freshly cut grass. It starts to roll around like a dog. <laughs> and so we're going to move on to the next level now. The next level is order. So order might remind you of court because the judge always says order in the court and smacks the gavel. So the image we're going to be using is the gavel. So maybe the file cabinet is rolling around in this freshly cut grass and this gavel sees it and starts to scream at the file cabinet because the gavel just cut that grass and, and is very upset that the file cabinet is rolling around in it. The next level is family. And this image is really easy because you can just go picture family. So maybe this family sees this freshly cut grass and wants to go have a picnic on it. But then the gavel starts to chase this family away because the gavel doesn't want anyone to touch its grass. The next level is genus. Genius sounds like genius. So maybe the image is going to be Albert Einstein. Einstein. So maybe Einstein sees his family getting chased, then, the, then Einstein stops the gavel chase from chasing the family, and <laughs> Einstein offers the family a big hug. Okay, so <laughs> that's what we're going to picture. Uh, and then the very last level is species. Now this image might be a little bit disgusting, but that makes it more memorable. So uh, a word that rhymes with species is feces, and feces is just another word for poop. So maybe Einstein is running towards his family, ready to give this family a big hug, but Einstein's not watching where he's going and he falls in some poop. That's, yeah, you heard me right. Einstein falls in some poop. <laughs> and there you go. That story we just created and you just pictured is going to allow you to remember the classifications of life. Now to recall the information, all you have to do is think of the location because the location is going to trigger the story. Then from the story, you could you could um, change the images back into the information. And so I, ha I hope you had as much fun as I did picturing this crazy and weird story. And who knew learning the taxonomic classifications of life could be so easy and fun. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel for more videos on how to remember all sorts of information and how to improve your memory. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those are down below. If you want to learn all the memory techniques and learn how to apply them to all sorts of information, 
go check out my memory improvement program. The link to that is down below as well. Also, if you want to start competing at memory competitions, you can check out my memory competition training program. You will learn absolutely everything you need to know to compete at your first or next memory competition. Look forward to my next video and get ready to get the best memory of your life.